Hey, what's up everyone? This is Jim with Dogwood Nation. Uh, going to do something a little bit different this time. Um, last time uh, sh showed how to build a table for your big green egg. Today we're going to do some audio video. So I hope you like this. So this weekend I was watching college football. I'm a big college football fan. Uh, Georgia Bulldogs, go dogs. And I had posted on my personal Twitter account the fact that I had synced the audio from the Georgia radio network with the TV so that I didn't have to listen to the ESPN announcing crew. Um, got a lot of feedback and questions on how I did that. So I'm going to show that. A um, few things you need to know. One, where can you find the broadcast for your school or your team? Um, second, how do you get the audio synced up? And then third, how do you get that audio, hopefully to your stereo for a, a good listening experience? So I'm gonna walk through those three steps right now, starting on where to find the audio. Before I get into that, I wanted to talk about why I do this. I grew up listening to Larry Munson while watching the broadcast on TV, and he sounded like this. Snap to David Green. There he goes in the corner again, and we jump up. Touchdown! Oh God, a touchdown! In the corner, with 85 seconds, somebody went up high. I know, I know. It's a total homer way to watch a game, but it's what I grew up with. My dad would mute the television and tune in to the local radio station so he could hear Larry Munson call the games. Over time, that became difficult because the radio would be way before the TV, once cable and then satellite came around. But in, today, in today's day and age, being able to stream the local broadcast over the internet the TV is actually ahead of the radio, which gives you an opportunity to sync up. So now let's go ahead and get into how to sync up that internet stream with what you're seeing on your television. I use TuneIn to listen to sports games to sync up with my television. So we're going to start out just by going to TuneIn.com. And then we're going to go to Sports. So here you can see they have a lot of sports. Um, so they've got Major League Baseball, NFL, college football, Premier League. With NFL, for example, I know that is a premium service, so you do have to pay for that. Um, but for what I'm doing with college football, the Georgia games, that's actually free. So let's click here. And you can see here they've got a lot of teams. Um, we can scroll through here. This is not an exhaustive list. Um, so you can come out here and search for your school if you're interested. Um, but again, you can see they've got you know the top teams here. So I'm going to click on Georgia, because that's what I've done. So when you click on your school, you'll see the upcoming games, and you also see stations. So this here, Georgia Bulldogs Sports Network from IMG, that is the station that broadcasts each individual game. So I'm going to go ahead and click here. And here you can add this as a favorite. So if you add this as a favorite, you can always have it there to come back in if you create an account, um, and you'll always know where to go. So when you come here on the game day, it'll automatically start playing the station, and you'll probably be hearing the pregame if you do this a little bit early. Um, and then that's really all you need to do. One other thing to note is TuneIn does also have an app. So if you want to get the audio from, say, an iPad or your phone and then push that to your stereo, um, you can certainly do that as well. Really the same concept, you know, find your team, um, favorite their station, and then on game day, you know, launch the app and hit play and have the audio. So that's it on where I go to find the games themselves. Um, now we're going to look at how to get the audio from the Internet synced up with what you're seeing on your television the Georgia Middle Tennessee State game pulled up on my DVR and I've also got the audio pulled up from the site so this isn't exactly real time but I'm going to try to get it pretty close so I'm going to go ahead and start both here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause right when they kick off and then let the internet stream catch up because generally when you're doing this the internet stream of the audio is going to be behind the audio of the game. So this is actually pretty realistic. Blue Raiders are huddling up. Last second instructions before they kick it away. Crowd on its feet here at Sanford Stadium for the opening kick, and we're ready for some 
college football on a Saturday afternoon in Athens. All right, so now I'm going to wait for the sound on the White jersey, blue stereo. Pants, blue helmet. He approaches and he kicks. End over end. Twisting and spinning into the far corner of the So if that wasn't obvious enough, you're looking for an audio clue, an indicator. So a kickoff is a great thing. You can pause right as the toe is meeting leather, and then when you hear the announcer say kick, or sometimes there's a cheer that crescendos right when the ball is kicked, that's when you want to unpause your TV, and then you're in sync. Now this game had a pretty good way to know right away because there was a penalty. So let's see how close I got here. He is conferring with one of the other officials in the crew. And let's see where the line of scrimmage will be. So right there you can tell my sync wasn't perfect, but it was one try. I did this in one take, and it's pretty close. Um, so let's listen to the first play just to see how close it is. Um, if you were doing this for an actual game, you know, you could fast forward a bit and try again. Um, but I think I would be pretty happy with this if this was an actual game. Backslash sports to learn more. Dogs will run it on the first play from scrimmage. And we'll give it to DeAndre Swift as he angles left at left tackle for... Well, that's it for synchronizing the stream with what you're seeing on your television. Again, it's really just a pause the TV and then start it back up, unpause, based on a visual audio key, something like the kickoff. So now let's look at how to get that audio over to your stereo. Okay, so now we've got the audio playing from TuneIn. We've got it synced up to our television. But maybe you want to get that audio running through your stereo system, get it through your surround sound. So again, you've got the best listening experience while watching your game. What I do is I actually run TuneIn, like I said before, through my laptop, so through my MacBook, and then I push the audio wirelessly. I have an Airport Express, so I'm able to go up to this speaker icon, choose Airport Express, and then I have the Airport Express hardwired with a headphone jack to stereo cable. The key here is making sure that you can have your power unit on you know, input one and then also be able to watch your game on your television at the same time. So you'll need to you know, look at your own power unit to make sure that will work. Also, maybe your power unit um, accepts Bluetooth. So that could be paired with your laptop as well or paired with your phone. Um, same if you have a soundbar. So soundbars, most soundbars have a Bluetooth pairing capability. So again, you could push that from your laptop here. Or as I mentioned, if you've got the TuneIn app on your phone, that's easily paired as well. So at that point, you've got the game on your television, you're streaming it, and then you're pushing that audio to your television. Okay, that wraps it up. I hope this was helpful. If you watch this and you want to do this and you still don't quite understand, Leave a comment below. I'd love to have some feedback on whether this is helping you out or not. If you are able to do it now, um, let me know that as well. And as always, if you like this, please give this video a like. Uh, I'd love for you to hit that subscribe button. And you can find me on social media at Dogwood Nation on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And you can always check me out at dogwoodnation.com.